the uh, Citrus Mountains. How how do you review this? How do you review that and give him a penalty? Syria, you're messing up. The referee in this game is blind. That there in no way, shape, or form is this. Syria is officially back, guys. It has finally returned the League of Italy, which has been arguably, you know, one of the most speculated about, one of the most talked about throughout the summer transfer window, whether it's been Inter, AC Milan, Roma, Napoli, Juventus getting, you know, Matthias De Ligt, uh, Fiorentina getting new American owners, uh, you know, where is Federico Chiesa going to go, the Italy U21 Euros, everything has led to the beginning of the season, and there was no better game to kick it, oh, well, I say kick it off, but it was the second game of the day, but it was the best, best game, you know, the, the drama, the controversy, everything involved with the game was absolutely wonderful, Fiorentina versus Napoli, we're going to take a look at it, you guys got to let me know, you know, your thoughts, your, your, you know, reactions, everything involved, you know, on the match itself, I'm just going to say right now, Dries Mertens might be the best actor known in Italy and Belgium, so I'll, I'll put that out there, right now, I'll put it out there, uh, but we're going to take a look at the match, and yeah. As well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. I still claim that this is a weak handball. I, I, to this day, I just, I hate the handball rule so goddamn much. It's the, the, the footballing handball rule just doesn't make sense anymore. It really, it really does not. That's a, that's a beautiful penalty. Yeah, prop props to it. Jesus Christ, he got laid out. Oh, what a hit. What a... I, I mean, Insigne... Uh, uh, okay, Insigne didn't get, like, decked, but he definitely got laid out. But that's, I mean... The fact that the goalie got a touch to it as well and still couldn't stop it, that's, that's a powerful shot. Yes, yeah, Citrice Mertens. How, how do you review this? How do you review that and give him a penalty? Syria, you're messing up. The referee in this game is blind. That there in no way, shape, or form is this. That right there. There's no way in hell that's a penalty. There is not, no, no circle, no depth of hell that that is a penalty. So the fact that Insigne got, get, gets to score that uh, is absolutely atrocious. I, I don't I feel I don't feel like anyone can argue it. Like Napoli fans you can't argue it. He didn't even touch him. You got a penalty by air. Koulibaly beat in the air. Wow. Feel bad for Ospina. Oh great hit. Great. Uh, so Dries Mertens, I mean, he made up for it for the. I mean, I mean, I can't say he made up for it. He just he, he made up a goal for himself anyway. So he scored one either way. Oh, sorry, that was Callejon's goal. Never mind then. The entire front three of Napoli getting on the. Callejon knows that Ir Irving Lozano's there for his job. He's got to score some goals. Kevin Prince Boateng as well. This is actually really good play. That's, like the link-up play for that goal is insane. That's dope. That's that's dope as hell. Oh, that's a what a through ball. The link up play for that is so nice. Like the the run on the far post to then uh, be able to then plant that in is so, is that Calhoun's assist? Yeah, that's such a good assist. That's. So was that kind of owner of Fabian Ruiz? I could not tell. But Napoli win 4-3 over Fiorentina. Uh, it could have been 3-3 because of the Dries Mertens penalty. But nonetheless, the, Napoli played, I feel like, some of the... Some of the uh, what is a reminder of Sarri Ball, but what is also known as the best of Ancelotti. Uh, is, you know, when the front three can 
simply hold up all of the goal scoring efforts. That's really what you want. That's sort of what Liverpool do, where their front three sort of have all of the goal scoring efforts going forward. Napoli were doing that in this contest. Uh, so Napoli get all three points to kick off their Serie A season. The same day, Juve also got three points. So will it be just a two horse race between those two again? Will Inter join that race? Will Roma join the race? Will Milan join the race? You guys gotta let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.